Hi there, um, this video comes with some exercise files and a cheat sheet for Photoshop. Uh, there'll be a link in the description for those. Okay, it's part of my larger course, which you can go and check out. There'll be a link there as well. Um, all right, enjoy the video. Hello, halftone lovers. It's halftone dot poster effect time. Okay, where we take an image like this, add some cool colors and some dots. We do a similar sort of thing with some lines. We even add some gradients, some dots, some terrible gradients. It's a nice simple effect in Photoshop. Let's get going. All right, it is halftone time. Let's go to File. Let's go to Open. And in your Exercise Files in 06 Filters, there's two files called Halftone 1 and 2. Thank you, Barrett Ward and Ben O'Sullivan. We're going to start with this one here. And if you're following along with me, which you should be, just double check that your, your yours is probably set to black and white as default. If it's not, click this little small icon here. It'll change them back. I'm on my Move tool for no good reason, really. There's no effect on this tutorial. Um, and what we want to do is we want to go up to Filter. Let's go to Filter Gallery. And in here, what you're looking for is the Sketch dropdown. Okay, and look for Halftone Pattern, and we're nearly there. Okay, so my pattern type is set to dot, and size and contrast really depends on the image and the look you want. Okay, so it really, yeah, really depends here. Now it's time to kind of mess around. Cool. When you're finished, click OK, and that is halftone dots. Now those aren't very exciting halftone dots, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of extra. So we're going to go edit, step backwards. There's two things we're going to do. One is we're not going to destroy our layer because we did that before on the background layer, which just means that it can never be changed back. So I went to edit undo and before I do it, I'm going to go to filter, convert for smart filters, click OK. And it just means that it's going to apply as a, like a topical cream that we can take off and our image is going to be perfect underneath. What we're also going to do is add a couple of colors. And you do that by making your foreground and background color set as a color. The moment black and white is what we got from that first go. So if you click the foreground color once, you can pick a color from in here. I'm going to pick one of my swatches. If you can't see your swatches up there, click OK, go to Window and go to Swatches, or just pick a color, any color. There they are, there are swatches. Now I want my foreground color, so I'm just going to click the white thing in the background there, and I'm going to pick one of my other colors in here. I used these earlier for a gradient in one of the other tutorials. Click OK. So now with the foreground and background color ready to go, go to Filter, Filter Gallery again, and back to our sketch halftone pattern, and you see we get this kind of a little bit more exciting view. Now again, you can mess around with these. If you click OK, the big difference between this and last time is A, it's colorful. Can you see down here, this can be turned on and off, plus I can double click on the Filter Gallery to go back and make an adjustment to it, crank the size of the dots up and the contrast, click OK, that's the better way of working. You can over here as well, can you see this little arrow is switch them around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click my smart filters and drag them into the trash. And with them around the other way, filter, filter gallery, you get the inverse, okay, where the shoes are the magenta and the background is more that yellow color. If you want to apply it just to the shoes, okay, you'll have to do a mask first. So you'd go all the way back to the beginning and use the quick selection tool, add a layer mask like we did in a previous tutorial. Okay, let's go a little bit deeper. So the second example from Ben O'Sullivan, I'm gonna show you how to add a gradient to it because I love gradients. And I'm gonna show you how to do the lines version of it. Okay, so I've clicked this little icon, makes it black and white again, which is what we need to get started for the gradient. With the layer selected, don't forget to go to convert to smart filters. Click OK. Now go to filters. Go to Filter Gallery, and back in here in Sketch and Halftone, we're going to change it from dot to, I'll show you circle. I don't really use it. You might find a good use for it. Line's kind of cool though. Size of the line, contrast of the line, kind of depends on what you are going for. I'm liking that. Let's click OK. So it's black and white. We can turn it on and off, which is pretty cool. But what I'd like to do is add a bit of a gradient effect, but I want to keep the black. Whereas in this example here, it was just one or the other. We had two colors. Whereas this one here, I want a bit of a medley. And it's basically, we've done gradients before. Okay, so with layer zero selected, I'm gonna click on effects and I'm gonna go to gradient overlay. And mine remembers what I did last. Yours is gonna look a little bit more boring like this. Okay, so yours might look like this. What we need to do is first pick colors. So click in here. Now, just so you know, there are some predetermined ones and I've hated on these for years. Like who needs that color? But then I was like, hey, was that always in there? It's kind of like Instagram. 
Did Instagram just click the button? I don't know, but these two are working for me. That one not so much. If you want to adjust the colors, you click in them. Okay, so click in this colored bar here and just double click the bottom house. Move the sliders around until you get a color you like. Not that one. Cancel Dan, cancel. Then it's all about blending it. Okay, we've looked at this before. It's the way that this gradient blends with the image it's attached to, or the thing underneath. And in this case, it's going to be normal, dissolve, do nothing. And it's going to work our way through. Darken, pretty cool all of a sudden. But don't be afraid to kind of work your way through. Okay, multiply, color burns, not very cool. <laughs> Linear burn, one of these was really cool. Now there's no right or wrong, you just work your way through until you find something that you're like, oh man, that was it, that's the cool stuff there. If you want to watch me, I'm just going to click on them all. Because we're at the end of the tutorial, so I am clicking, maybe save you the clicking experience so you can just decide which one you want to jump to. Vivid light, ooh, vivid light's kind of cool, right? It's kind of put it on parts of the black, but not in the white parts. So many different effects, wow. That's pretty cool, let's flip the inverse. You are getting bored like I am now, you can move on to the next video. The one I liked the most was, I don't even remember, <laughs> not multiply. But you can play around with which way this goes, okay, you can inverse it like we did with the gradients earlier, scale. You can turn right down. And I have totally wrecked mine now, but you get the idea, right? So that is various uses of the half tone effect in Adobe Photoshop. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Hi, it's me again. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up really helps me and what I'm doing. Um, also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel because I release a video like this every week. Um, also know that this is part of my larger course, okay, so this is like a free part of it. There's a larger course called Photoshop Essentials, so you could go check that out. There's a link in the description for that full course. Also know that there's exercise files, those are free to download, go, go check that out, link in the description. Another link in the description will be the cheat sheet. So I make it like a PDF uh, cheat sheet for Photoshop with all the tips and tricks you can print off and stick next to your computer and be more awesome. Um, yeah, all right, that's enough. Uh, hi, Dada.